balanced diet, whatever we have, food, the food I'm talking about, it should not be just biryani, 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 or just pani puri, pani puri, pani puri, right? It should be a balanced diet. It should be a balanced diet. Do have biryani, do have pani puri, but it should be balanced because all the nutrients are absolutely required by our body. Fine? Okay. So see, these are some of the sources of carbohydrates, simple sugars that we get. These are some sources of the fat molecules, right? Fat, we get it. We get it from the eggs, you see. Fine. Oil, butter, right? You see the protein, sources of proteins, chicken, milk, fish. So eggs, pulses. So these are high sources of proteins, fine? Vitamins and minerals, you see. The lemon from milk also you get. Banana, it's a good source. You should have. In fact, I do have it daily. Broccoli. So these are good sources of minerals and vitamins. Now, I'll talk about some common terms that is disorders of the digestive system. I'm sure you have heard about these. I'm sure you have heard about this. One or two I think you have not heard, but rest you have heard or maybe experienced also. Let's start. I'll be doing this quickly because it's it's quite common and I'm sure you have been studying about this. Okay? Disorders. So night blindness, xerophthalmia, protein energy malnutrition, jaundice. Vomiting, you know about all these. These two maybe you are not aware. Jaundice, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, indigestion. You are well aware of this. So first let me concentrate on the night blindness. You know, it's caused due to a deficiency of vitamin A. Deficiency of vitamin A. What is night blindness? This is the inability to see during dark. Or inability of the eyes to adjust when there is no light. Okay. So, good sources of vitamin A, C. These are the examples. In fact, these are my favorites. These are my favorites. I do have it every day. Okay. You should also have it so that you can prevent night blindness. Okay. So, carrots, papaya. I see. Uh, so, liver cord oil. Okay. Cod liver oil. Sorry. Cod liver oil. Carrots, papaya, tomatoes. So, these are good sources of vitamin A. You should have it. Fine. Okay. Now, what is xerophthalmia? Night blindness, you got it. Xerophthalmia is basically the drying of the eyes. Our eyes are always moist. You see, it's very watery. This is required for the functioning of the eye. Now, eye dryness is known as xerophthalmia. It is also because of the deficiency of vitamin A. You should have enough amount of vitamin A in your diet. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Protein energy malnutrition. This is quite widespread. You know, look at the map. Look at the word map. It's a dietary deficiency of proteins and the calories. It's known as protein energy malnutrition. Fine. When enough amount of proteins and calories are not there in your diet. Correct. You see, you see the areas, it's quite widespread what I can see in the underdeveloped uh, countries like the South and the Southeast Asia, South America, I see West and Central Africa. You see the red, red regions, okay, dark red regions. So these are the areas. What I can see, you know, these are the areas where a number of infants, a greater number of infants suffer from this disease, which is PEM, protein energy malnutrition. So protein should also be an important portion in our diet. Now you see, protein energy malnutrition, it can result into what? Marasmus or quashogar. Fine. Infants and children, it can produce marasmus. See the condition. Quashogar. See the condition. I'll talk about both of these disease conditions. First, marasmus. It's a simultaneous, please figure out the difference properly. It's a simultaneous deficiency of the proteins and the calories. Simultaneous deficiencies of the proteins and the calories. Clear? See? When this is happening, observe when the mother's milk is replaced too early, too early by the food which is poor in proteins and calorific value. This can also happen when during second pregnancy because of which because of which the first child, the first child does, does not get enough amount of mother's milk and is given food which is not good, which does not have good source of proteins and calories. Fine, it's a simultaneous deficiency of proteins and calories, marasmus. Fine, see the characteristic features, impaired replacement of tissue proteins. So, it's the child becomes very thin, yeah, skinny. Skin becomes dry, thin and wrinkled. Very soon this happens. Decline growth rate of the body weight. Growth rate declines. Body weight declines. Yes. Impaired development of the brain and mental illness. Mental facilities. Fine. 
So these are some of the characteristic features of this disease known as marasmus. What about the next one, Kwashiorkor? Deficiency of proteins unaccompanied. Please see, it was a simultaneous deficiency of proteins and calories, marasmus. But here, Kwashiorkor is deficiency of proteins unaccompanied by calorie deficiency. Fine. So observed when mother's milk is replaced by a high calorie, low protein diet in a child more than one year in age. Low protein but high calorie. So see the characteristics. Wasting of muscles, thinning of limbs, limbs become thin, failure of the growth and the brain development does not grow. Brain development becomes slower. Some fat is still left under the skin. You see, excessive, what happens, you know, this is a condition known as oedema. Oedema and it is basically accumulation of the fluid in the body and it results into the swelling. Oedema, fine, note this word excessive oedema and swelling this is happening because of the accumulation of fluid in the body it leads to the swelling of body parts clear all of you noted the characteristics fine okay now the next one jaundice you know about this it's very easy liver dysfunction yes deposition of bile in the skin and eyes that's the reason it it becomes yellow you know about this jaundice vomiting yeah it's again very common ejection of the stomach contents through the mouth you remember i had asked a question how can this happen why do we vomit when i told that the peristaltic pressure is so much that even if i go upside down then also the food from the mouth can go into the stomach here comes the answer feeling of nausea precedes vomiting correct you know this is controlled by a center in a brain which is this is a reflex action controlled by the vomit center in the medulla this is the reason this is controlled that's the reason the backflow can happen under some conditions it is controlled by the brain fine very good well causes it may result due to food poisoning infections overeating so please try to stay away from all this overeating very bad food poisoning just Food from the roadside places and all. Please try to avoid. Okay. Infections can also be a cause. Diarrhea. You know about this. Right. Abnormal. Uh, sorry. Abnormal frequency of bowel movement. Yes. Increased liquidity of the fecal discharge. It becomes the fe feces becomes liquid in nature. Not the semi-solid that we have just studied in today's session. Right. Increased water content in the feces. Reduced absorption of food. You cannot absorb a lot of food. The absorption capabilities get reduced. Idea. Let's see what are the causes. It can be because of food poisoning, imbalance in the microbial content of your stomach. That's the reason we need to have what people suggest. There are medicines, okay, which will increase the microbiota in your body. And that is required. It is required for your digestion process also. What about constipation? You know, this is again quite common, caused by hard feces which retained, which is retained within the colon. It becomes hard, lack of water. Okay, so bowel movements occur irregularly. So what is done? You know, uh, so we should have more fibers in our diet. It stimulates the stimulates the production of mucus, which will smoothen the process, and that will help in the defecation process. So increase fiber in your diets. To prevent constipation. And what about this one? Indigestion. It's also very common. Indigestion. If the food is not properly digested, it will cause indigestion. At times, this happens when I am having too much of Pani Puri. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, leads to the feeling of fullness. It, it feels that even if you are not having a lot of food, it, it feels, you know, a lot. It, it, your stomach feels full. It's like tight. Okay. So sad, you're not having a lot, but seems to be a lot. Causes inadequate enzyme secretion, anxiety. Yes, one of the major causes nowadays. Food poisoning, overeating, should prevent. Spicy food, very bad, you should prevent. 